guys this is the fabric i'll be using to cut out my shirt this is the fabric i'm using to cut out my shirt now i'm going ahead to cut out the band i will cut i'm going ahead to iron my fabric make sure you always iron before cutting i'll cut it out and we'll get back to the video i will also you will also see the reason why i didn't add a pocket to this pattern i'm not having a pocket with my shorts yeah like i said i'm going to drop a link to a tutorial i made on how to draft a trouser with pocket so i'll cut this out then we'll continue so guys i'm going ahead to cut out my fabric and my bands i have to cut out two bands for each because they are on fold center front is on fold center back is on fold so i went ahead to cut out two two each and now this is the for my front pattern yeah and this is my back pattern and i, I add, and i went ahead to add 0 0.5 inch all around but i didn't add anything at the hem because i have already added on my pattern so the next thing i'll do is to go and join this point i'm going to join this in this point this is my flap for my front 0 0.5 i'm going to join it till this point i'll do the same thing for the back i'll join 0 0.5 all the way to this point then the next thing i'll do is my dad i'm going to hold in my dad 0 0.5 till 5 inches i'll do that then we'll continue so guys i've gone ahead to join my flap for both front and for the back on 0 0.5 inch now i also went ahead to join my dad Now the next thing I'll be doing is to join the inseam. I'm going to be matching this that. I'm going to be matching this inseam with this one. I'm going to match it together like this. I'll open up the seams the way I ironed it. Make sure you iron because I went ahead to iron after that. So I'm going to match them up. Making sure that this our seams match. After doing this, then I'm going to pin it down. Then I'm going to sew on 0 0.5. Remember that is what we added for our joining allowance. So I'm going to sew on 0 0.5 inch. And I'm, I'll do the same thing for this other side, 0 0.5 all the way to this point. Now, after that, I'm going to join close the sides with 0 0.5 inch i'll close the size i'll close the size too with 0 0.5 inch i'll do that for both sides now while closing my size i'll leave like one to two inches for my band because i've not added my band yet so i'll leave that then join like i said i will show you why i did not add a pocket to the government to have a net on it so i will do that then we continue so guys i'm going ahead to sew the sides and the inseam now remember i left about two inches or 1.5 to join our band i'll be joining my band here now before joining my band if you are if you are not joining anything like me i'm joining a two net you go ahead to just fold in your shorts at the hem and join your band which i'll be showing you how to but before joining my band i'll add these two nets to it so these shorts will be inside and my net will be on top i'm going to gather it all around
I'm going to be gathering it all around on the waist. So this is how it should be. This made sure to be inside before I join my band. I'll gather it and we'll continue. All right, guys. So what I went to ahead to do is to close the side since I'll be having my zipper at the back, the center back. That's I'm going to be fixing my zipper. Now the next thing I'm doing is to gather my two nets all around the waistline. I'm going to be gathering my two nets. That's what I'm doing. I'm using my pins to hold them down. So I'll gather it all around. Then I'll go to my, to my sewing machine and sew before joining my band. I'll use my pins to hold them down. Then join before we continue. So I'm going ahead to gather my nets all around. But if you're not using a tool net, all you have to do is fold the hem of your shorts and add your zipper to the side. Since I'm adding a tool, so my zipper will be coming to the back. Now, before you add your zipper, you have to add your band. Now, this is the back. Make sure you don't throw this away for you to know the up and the down. So I'm taking out my center front, my front. This is my front and this is the up. This is the up. I'm going to close this place by 0 0.5 inches to this side. 0 0.5. I'll do the same thing for this back. I'll open it up. The upper part, I'm going to close it up by 0 0.5. Then I'll iron in for one piece, one of the piece. I'm going to iron in 0 0.5. With using my iron, I'll iron in one piece. I'll do the same thing for the front. Then I will continue. So I'm going ahead to iron my band. And I joined on half inch on the upper part and i went ahead to close to iron 0 0.5 on one side of my band i did the same thing for the front now the next thing i'll do is to match it up to make sure that they meet at the side of my shorts i make sure i get the midpoint and i'm going to be aligning it like this making you know, making sure that this place is up so I'll do this so here this is the side so I'll do the same thing for the back. Now the back, you know, we we'll, we'll have to cut it on fold. We will cut it open because of our zipper. We will cut it open. So I'm going to be matching this up. This center back, you match it up, and you're going to be cutting it, cutting the band open. Okay. And I'm going to divide it at the middle. Okay. So this is what I'll be doing. I'll join it from here. I also match this up. So now we are going to get to our waist. I'm getting to my waist 
to join both the front and the back. So I'm going to be joining this, my front and my back together on 0 0.5. Now, before you do that, you have to make sure it is matching with the waist, which is here. Should be matching. Yeah. Should be matching. So I'm going to place this on the front and pin down. I'll go to my machine to sew. I'll do the same thing for this other side. After doing that, then I'm going to run this all round. From the center back, I'm going to run match it straight till this other center back. So I'm going to have to pin it down. All the way to the side so i'm just going to go ahead to join the sides then i close the band i'll join the sides so i'll go ahead to sew this before i turn it with this other one so guys i'm going ahead to run my stitch all the way to join our uh, my band when I had to join my band, and this is the side, this is the side, so I'm going to be turning this, this is the side, yeah, and I, I went ahead to join it on 0 0.5, all round to this other center back, we'll have I'm just more remaining, so I'll just cut it, trim it out. Now, the next thing I'll do is to close. And see, see what I'm doing is I'm, I'm bringing it up this way, so I'm going to be closing this one like this on it. I'm going to be doing it this way and closing it all the way. I'm going to be swinging very close to this point very very close i'm going to run a stitch on it i'll do it until i'll do that till the center back i'm going to be running it because that will neatly fix a band on your shorts even on your skirts this is how to neatly fix a band Please do not be confused because of my two nets. You can fit, you can sew a short without adding a two net, like without training a net. So it is just what I want to achieve. So I'm going to do this, then fix my zip. My zip allowance is just 0 0.5. That's my zip allowance. So I'm going to fix my zip, starting from our band till this point. I will do finish up, fix my zip, and I will put it on the mannequin. Then we'll see the outcome. So guys, this is the outcome of our shirt. This is what I was trying to achieve. Now this is our band. Now this is what I was trying to achieve. And when I went ahead to fix my band properly and the zip so thank you guys for watching and thank you for always coming back please like share and also subscribe to this channel i love you all bye